A very interesting question, Abe. It's a different bottle of Gatorade. Powerade, it doesn't matter. Um, panspermia. You're right, it, uh, as far as the, the panspermia theory um, as how life on Earth got started, it's, it's one of those moving the goalpost type of um, infinite regress theories that you know it doesn't get to the root of the problem it's just a detail it doesn't it's like how does life start I think that uh, that in order to get life started all you need is a self-replicating molecule that's it which um DNA, of course, is. We use DNA as our uh, self-replicating molecule. I think that another molecule, uh, preferably organic, just because carbon uh, bonds with, with everything, uh, another type of molecule that, that you know, self-replicates, we, we wouldn't recognize it as DNA, but it would probably work just as well, could start life off on another planet. And uh, given the uh, available chemistry in the universe, I think that it's probably a fairly common event. Uh, so if life is in fact as common as I think it is, given how, uh, how uh, the basic you know rules of organic chemistry and uh, the available resource materials and the fantastic number of planets to choose from. I mean, the, the, all, you to, all you need is, is a self-replicating molecule. You're going to get it. You know, we've already gotten it. And I'm sure there's, you know, countless other planets out there in the vastness of the universe that have it already. And from there, you can get evolutionary processes. And then, you know, you'll see uh, life. I guess we would recognize it as life, but chances are if they use... Um, something besides DNA, it'd be so weird to us that we, we might not recognize it as life at first. And to think that you would be able to, to go to uh, an alien planet that has life on it and be able to tell, it, like, oh, that, that's a mammal or that's a reptile. It, it, like, like I've seen in, in most um, like sci-fi movies, I think that's, that's totally asinine. The, 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 uh, the solutions that that their evolutionary processes would come up with would, would be, I mean, though there should be some commonalities based on the laws of physics, like uh, four legs works very well because it's a stable platform and there's symmetry. But um, as, as far as you know, oh, oh, oh uh, this is a mammal or that's a reptile, this is an insect. There'd be there'd be categories of animals that we wouldn't be able to even fathom. We've got no point of reference. Because the the uh, the uh, exact evolutionary path that the Earth has taken so far has been, you know, one of opportunity. Just what you know, whatever happens to work best at the time, you could uh, come up with a, a different solution for the same problem. Uh, flounders and manta rays are a good example of that. But they both become flat. They've just, you know, become flat in different ways. It's a different solution to the same problem. So I think uh, life is fairly common throughout the universe. Intelligent life, maybe not. You know, how long has uh, the Earth had life on it? How successful were the dinosaurs or the um, the uh, sea creatures during the the Cambrian era without being intelligent? I don't think intelligence is a uh, a goal is is a necessary uh, result of evolution. I think it's just a just an accident. Anyway, um, if life is prevalent throughout the universe already, uh, then then what's the point of uh, of sending your seed out? It's a it would be a fantastic experiment, but um, you're almost certain to uh, to to contaminate uh, another planet. And uh, if there if there should be one lesson that we've learned when we try to modify nature is that a lot of times we don't know what the hell we're doing. 
and we end up doing something horrible by accident, like, um, oh, I don't know, CFCs? <laughs> that one little chlorine atom just hanging on the edge of that molecule and the molecule is so stable and it just goes up into the upper atmosphere just to the point where it can get enough radiation to break off that chlorine uh, atom, make it a, a free radical and then that free radical goes and attacks the ozone layer. I mean who foresaw that? That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm sure that you know the chemists who uh, who thought that using CFCs was a good idea really did and evidence would have shown them that yes it was because it was so stable but it was uh, too stable it got up into the upper atmosphere and then you know leave it to the sun to have enough energy to, to perform chemistry operations that you didn't foresee so um, as far as our track record goes um, I would be very cautious about conducting such a, a, a panspermia type experiment regardless of the uh, the actual technological and physical limitations of pulling it off. Uh, creating an artificial intelligence smart enough to actually, you know, seek a planet, deposit the seed, and as far as um, the, the packet that you would need to implant, it would, it would have to be a, a self-replicating molecule. That's all you would need, a bunch of them, given the right environment. Probably in water. Water is a good uh, water is a good solution. A lot of chemistry can happen in water. So yeah, self-replicating. You know, we'd probably choose organic because you know why the hell not? Uh, carbon's uh, easier to work with than silicone, I think. So a uh, organic self-replicating molecule. Just dump them in water. Poof. Wait a few you know million years. You've got uh, something that you'd probably recognize as life. But uh, if it's really that easy, uh, it's probably happened a lot already. And uh, we don't have to bother. You know, quite frankly, I'm, I'm much more interested in actually going out there and seeing stuff for myself, you know, finding answers to questions, than, uh, than sending off a, a mystery packet just to, just to impregnate another planet. I mean, that, you know, really, what's the point? <laughs> it seems like such a big... Uh, like a like a waste of resources, you know. Well, the, the miracle of life, you know, but it, it's probably not a miracle. It's probably a very mundane thing in the universe. So, uh, yeah, could so you know to answer your questions in order, could we? Sure. Should we? Mm, why bother? 